died of cancer. I know, and that's so sad. She was part of my life and my whole generation's life since she was a kid. That could be because oh, Sesame of Street. Sesame Street Olivia's. and then 227, yeah. yeah. Well, have you ever been to New York, uh, the one of you? She yeah, started I'm from Brooklyn. Out in, she started out in New York at Reno Sweeney's, the clubs with Bette Midler. Yes. She was a heart, she was a background singer for, and so was Andre De Shields. That's how I met them all. Wow, they were all uh, harlots? The whole club. Yeah. They all, well, she didn't call them harlots then. But they all back Bette Miller when she was in the baths, Continental Baths, yeah. Reno Sweeney's, Trudy Hellas. There were a bunch of clubs you could appear in all the time. And uh, Elena had a great voice. A lot of people didn't know that. We called her Tiny. Uh huh. Elena, yeah, that was her nickname, Tiny, because her waist was this big. Was it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but she had a great voice, and, and she could do different voices. And just very talented. A lot of people did not know that. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I knew her a long time, and I met her with Andre De Shields. Mm-hmm. She was, uh, they call her, uh, 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 I don't even want to say the names, but she grew to be a great friend. Can you yeah. believe that? I can. <clears throat> she, she was not the nicest. No, she wasn't? She was a little tart? No, she was a bitch. She was a bitch. But, <laughs> but hard, hard fought. You know those divas that come from that era? I mean, uh, some people get it, because people beat you down, beat you down, beat you down. You're going to have some feeling about it. You're yeah. not going to grow up and be, oh, I love everybody. Uh -huh. Like those old divas, Ethel Waters. And yeah. You know, Cicely ties to a great degree in terms of earning it from being a little colored girl. Mm -hmm. it, it ain't just given to you. Yeah. You got to earn it. And then some of them, uh, old, you know, white dolls from Eric. So they earn their, their, their scars. Yeah. So they're not the nicest people. Uh -huh. Like that, the summer place. You ever see the Troy Dunn? You heard the woman play the mama? Uh -huh. She was Ada on this soap opera. Give you some tea. Yes. And I came on the set and I was new and I didn't know what to do. And they said, eye line is when you're doing your lines. You can see somebody over here and they're distracting you. She said, who the hell is that? Get the fuck out of my eye line. And I'm like, look, I was like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I was so mad at her. I just want to go over there and snatch her. But I know what she she, she meant, right. you know what I mean? So they earned, and she came up the hard way. She had to earn everything she got. Yeah. So you look at it in hindsight. I still don't like mean women. I can't stand, I don't like mean men, but I can't stand somebody just being mean just to be mean. Mm. So they earn it, you know, but uh, Elena had earned her place and um, she never quite got her due to me. No, she never really did. I mean, she, she was famous in a way, She's but never sung. the big star. Yes, yeah. never, but truly talented. Mm. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. I, I was with her till the end. That's, At the that's hospital. good to I know. mean, not to the last breath, but right. right there, you know, the last two days. And her husband was with her. She was married. Uh, well, to bless me. you, Alana, Alana Reed. Yes. And, and thank you for that. And thank you for telling us that she was secret, real life a bitch. What a delight. Yes. <laughs> Makes me really enjoy her even more. Oh, yes. Because that all the parts she played were so nice. Yes. <laughs> so it's nice to know that she but was I, not you know, But we came, we came toe to toe, but I can handle my Did own. Did you? You came toe to toe Yeah, sometimes. I can be a bitch. Oh, honey, the set of Two Two Seven must have been very feisty. No, even today. <laughs> <laughs> but but it's like those hairs on your neck. You know, it's like you do it nice, and you let everybody like you like when you're driving. You let everybody in front of you, and then after one day, you kind of go, "Not today, damn it!" <laughs> right. You know, you just you get tired of being pushed around. Yes, you know, yes. and you let somebody in line, and they just you know they just treat you bad. But I'm talking about I can be a bitch too, with no reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not a lot, not okay. a lot, not a lot. But I can go oh. there. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's all I What he said, they, uh -huh, I'm a girl, everything. Start some shit up in here. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was with a friend of mine, he's gay, and somebody called it the F word. Right. Which I don't say anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, we were in New York. Honey, he said, yeah, hold my, hold my coat, hold my rings. <laughs> he fought all the way from 59th Street Central Park all the way down to the village. Wow. And we call it scrape knees. Uh -huh. Because it's like, don't get it twisted, you know? Right. So you will get your ass kicked. <laughs> yes, you, you know will. what I mean? <laughs> and he was bloody and everything, but I'll never forget, so don't call anybody names, because snatch that wig off them eyelashes and everything, and go to, go to work. <laughs> go to work. <laughs> Look at her. Betty White. Uh. <laughs> we did a, I don't know, a show, me, her, Rue McClanahan, Marla Gibbs, B. Arthur. It's called Legend something, something of Comedy, something, something, something. Famous, wow. famous duets or something like that. Right. I can't remember. And um, Betty White was there, and, and she, she's just so fabulous. She's so funny. And, you know, you talk to her, and she said, you know, I retired. She was just sitting there. We were just waiting to shoot. She said, I went home. She said, I was home for about two or three weeks, and then she said, Oh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm going back to work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she is so much 
fun. And then I, I her 93rd birthday, I was on the lot when I was doing Baby Dad, and she was there doing Hot in Cleveland. They right. had a birthday party for her out in the street. She said, you're only clapping because I'm this damn old. You know? right. <laughs> <laughs> a sweetheart, a, a really good person. And she didn't get famous, so she was 40, whatever. Her, she was yeah. Alan Lutton. And, they had that part on Lou Ed Asner's show. Right, on Mary uh, Tyler, Mary Tyler Moore. Moore. That was when said, she oh, really broke it out. He said, give it to Betty. It was a guest spot. And who knew? Yep. You know, and she's still going strong. She said she she's going to work till she dies. Well, and that's lucky for us all because she's a national treasure. <laughs> Yeah, but she's good people. Mm -hmm. Really. What about the other people. Golden Girls? You said you did that special with B and and Rue. Any interaction? B was no joke. Yeah. Yeah, I mess with B. B mm -hmm. was tall. To B could kick your ass. Yeah, she could. <laughs> <laughs> and she went barefoot. Barefoot, right? <laughs> big old, big feet, like size twelve or something. I had a young boyfriend. Oh. Lived in London. At the mm. end, she died in London. Yes, yes, she mm. did. Yes. Who said? Oh, was it Florence Henderson? Who's fabulous? She told me she's having some of the best damn sex of her life at eighty. Wow. Florence Henderson. All right, Miss Florence ah! Henderson. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> Look at you, Florence Henderson. Ah! Look at her. <laughs> Mel and Burl. Now, I know you got like a, a, a little story about Mel and Let's Burl. not even build up. Yeah, I saw it schlong. Yeah, you saw his dick. <laughs> he whipped now, it out. All the children are like, why does that old man showing Jack A his dick? Because that's what he was famous for. He was for. famous to have a you huge, gigantic No, the penis. biggest in Hollywood. The biggest in Hollywood. Like a pfft. Yeah. No, kerplop. Kerplop was the sound. <laughs> kerplop. I was at a party and um, had a glass table. When I came, I came with my husband then and my brothers. And he said, oh, here comes Gladys Knight and the pips. Right. Said, no, the pimps. <laughs> Gladys Knight and the pimps. I was so mad. I was like, hmm. So I sat down. He's talking, talking, talking. I mean, there's a bunch of stars there. George Hamilton, Sidney Poitier. I mean, it's just glamour time. Wow. He says, well, you, you heard about me, right? He's smoking that cigar. I said, yeah. He said, uh, well, you know, I'm famous for him. I, he said, you want to see it? I said, well, yeah. <laughs> Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Under the tape, you can see it. Wow. It was me. It was me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that's where that story ends. <laughs> Look at <all. laughs> Who's that? Naya, Naya Rivera. I don't know her. Oh, I thought you were. Oh, wait with a her. minute. Yeah. She didn't look like that when no, I she worked. did not, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she she yeah, did. Yeah, take a look. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She was on Glee, I, and I, then that, and so she, you were with her on the, the, royal, red, family. the royal Family, which was a Red Fox she show. Was, uh, yeah. Oh gosh, she's she was stunning. just a little girl. Yeah. She's stunning. Wow. Well, now we've at least given you a catch up. I know you yes, don't have much to say about her. I don't. You did don't, not know I that was know. her. She, well, she's let me tell stunning. you about her. She was on Glee, uh -huh. and she loves. Who was she dating, Lady Red? Someone very famous, a famous rapper. Yeah. Then they got into it. Who? Big Sean. Uh huh. Then what happened? They broke up. Yeah. And she was. She thinks she's having to work on a music career. Oh good. Oh. Wow. So look at. Wow. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Y'all got crack my face. You got me. <laughs> all right, we did it. Look at all. Uh, that old bitch. <laughs> I'm sure it was older. <laughs> and that was Pearl who played. She's Pearl yeah. 227 for those that don't. She was Helen, Mar Helen Martin, right? Helen yeah. Martin. Not nice to me. No. Mm -mm. Damn, the 227 set was I no joke. I shouldn't talk about it like that, but that she was mean to me. Really? But she leaned out the window one day. We were doing the thing, and I was doing my thing. And we had a little lull in the action, you know, a little five-minute break. And she leaned out the window. She said, you think you the star of this, don't you? I turned around. I said, yeah, you old bitch, I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's about three years in. That's when I knew I had made it. Cause wow. I was like, you're gonna talk to me any old damn way. She went, well. <laughs> but um, and then when she died. She was in the hospital, and they took her out, took her home, and she had a, a young gay white boy taking care of her. I forgot his name, but they were together for years. She mm. he took care of her to the end of. And she was in the bed, and the doctor came in. He said, "Oh, you're gonna be all right." She said she was smoking a joint. She said, "I'm gonna be all right." He said, "Yeah." She said. Why the fuck am I in here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> she was trying to get well, you know, but it, it didn't happen. But she was 94, and I think she was at least 100. I don't know. But she was right. older, yeah. Wow. And I went to her funeral and everything, but she was no joke. She used to always tell me, and I'm going to tell you, because I steal it from her. She used to always say, I said, life ain't nothing. She said, well, hard but it's fair, nappy but it's hair. <laughs> so, oh. so she she was strong. She was strong, a bull. Love it. Oh my goodness. I gave you enough tea, didn't I? You gave me so much good tea. Look at her.